In the wake of the scathing grand jury report on clergy sex abuse, two new lawsuits have been filed against the Pittsburgh Diocese, Bishop David Zubik and former Bishop, now Cardinal, Donald Wuerl. KDKA investigator Andy Sheehan says the abuse incidents happened years ago but are no less disturbing. The first lawsuit is filed by a now grown woman with an astounding story of abuse by not one but two priests and a bishop. The now deceased Father Lawrence O'Connell, Father Edward Huff, and former Bishop Anthony Bevilacqua. Unbelievable that two priests and a bishop serially uh, abused a, a young girl and uh, left her uh, with a lifetime of problems. Heather Taylor now lives in California but says growing up in the South Hills, she was groped and molested by these men throughout her girlhood and early adolescence. She's been in counseling for 30 years, has had trouble with relationships, intimacy, uh, trusting people. Uh, I don't think she's ever gone back to the church. The second plaintiff, David Rebholt, says he was molested as an 11-year-old in the 70s by Father William O'Malley. In the late 1980s, according to the grand jury report, another victim came forward saying he had been molested as a boy by O'Malley as well. When confronted, O'Malley admitted the incident, quote, probably happened, but said he was, quote, much more careful not to touch kids now. Then Bishop, now Cardinal Donald Whirl, sent O'Malley to rehab, where he was diagnosed with a sexual attraction to adolescent boys. According to the report, Whirl signed a memo saying O'Malley was, quote, anxious to return to priestly ministry and assigned him to administrative work. It wasn't until 2003 that he was removed from ministry. O'Malley is also deceased, but attorney Alan Pear says these revelations make it possible for Rebholtz to now sue the diocese. Nobody would have known that he was an admitted pedophile, that he, was a, he abused other people, that he'd been reported, that he'd been diagnosed. He would have just you know, retired from the ministry and nobody would have been the wiser for it. The diocese won't comment on pending litigation, but given the revelations in the grand jury report, these lawsuits will not be the last. Reporting downtown, Andy Sheehan, KDKA-TV News.